keep thinking about drone strikes and Grand Theft Auto. I discovered Grand Theft Auto with like Vice City, so I came into the game pretty late, but I love... I Once I finished all the missions and finished everything else and found all the packages and etc, etc, I just love driving around the city and I... The, al the traffic algorithms were a lot simpler back then, so I could remember them, and I could keep them all in my head, and I memorized the traffic algorithm, and so I could just sort of drive however I wanted at whatever speed I wanted, and just weave in and out of traffic, because there wasn't uh, enough random stuff happening, like there are in later GTA games, or Saints Row games, or things like that. And I just sort of drive around, and I one day I thought about it, and I thought, man, why doesn't everybody drive like, uh, like I do in Grand Theft Auto? Like, why don't we drive like that in real life? Uh, to point of order, I don't know how to drive. So, this seems like a stupid question, because it is a stupid question. But, I did not, and still really don't, know how to drive. So, it was slightly, it was, it was more ignorance than stupidity, and that's, that's what I'd like to go with. But, I said, yeah, why don't we do that? And, uh, I realized that A, then everything would be, be chaos and terrible, and B... I realized I didn't count pedestrians as accidents. Because pedestrians didn't do any damage to my car. I, they posed no threat to me. They weren't going to shoot me, and if they did, I would just drive away. They weren't going to damage my car. I could skid around a corner and take out five of them, and it would barely crack my windshield, and I could just take off in my Ferrari. And everything was fine. I was thinking about earlier today... Because I was thinking about drone strikes. I watched the uh, YouTube interviews Obama, which was really cool. I really want to like Obama as a president, but he keeps authorizing drone strikes, and I find them really worrying. Because people who are the victims of drone strikes aren't a threat to you. I mean, I mean, maybe they are in some sort of long-term fashion, but... The people who are conducting those strikes are, are not at risk. And when you're not at risk, it seems like it puts, I want to say, moral distance in between you and the person you're harming. And it is a lot easier to not think in, uh, about it. It is a lot easier to not worry about it because it is so far away. I mean, that's why the president can do things like crack jokes at, at dinners about, about drone strikes because... He, you know, he doesn't have to be there. He said in the interview, he said, no one grieves more for the family or for people, innocents, lost in those strikes than me. But I can probably think of a few people, specifically the families of those innocents, who, who live with that every day and the knowledge that this, this war that they are not really part of could, you know, rain down on them at any moment. And their, their, their government can't do anything about it. And it makes me think about Grand Theft Auto because I had so much power in Grand Theft Auto. I could drive wherever I wanted. I could drive as fast as I wanted. No one could stop me. And I could just slam into people and it was consequence free. And I worry that with distance in warfare, I don't want to risk people's lives. I don't think that, I mean, I'm, I'm sort of a peacenik hippie. But I worry that with the distance, we think that it's consequence-free. And warfare is never consequence-free. And now we play Grand Theft Auto, and I still play Grand Theft Auto. But I know that the people in Grand Theft Auto aren't real. And I know that I can, I, can, I can laugh about it a bit. Or compare it. But it worries me that one day we might do that about people who are. And that day I think we will have lost something important. But yeah. I will see you guys on Thursday with, uh, well, probably with not something heavier, probably with something where I take other different kinds of people's lives for granted in Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to go and, uh, I don't know, hug a kitten or something. There's Elliot. Elliot's back here. We'll hang out. And I will be.
stick, I'll stand. Stand up straight, I'll bend. But I won't break, I'll stand.